Hey gang, welcome back to uh, the old stream down here on the farm. Just uh, dropping off some water here into the greenhouse, like we said last time. And uh, so that's all good, that should be done. I'll just check that. Um, it should be under this one. Water, beautiful, perfect. Uh, we may as well go fill it up now while we have a bit of an intro and talk about what's going on for today for today so uh snowing still as you can see we're just kicking off from where we left last time it's uh, 11 30 in the day the sales there's not much going on i i know we're saving towards our uh, house that we need to buy i'm gonna um i'm gonna take a couple of steps back to potentially go even more steps forward i probably want to buy my bail wrapper now and it's going to cost about $22,000. It's not in the sales. I don't want to keep leasing it at um, at over $1,000 and having to do other contract mowing work. I know it's handy to do and we get extra money for it. But at the same time, I kind of... If I want to just crack on with doing my own field and while I've got other stuff to do with other fields and stuff, I want to be able to do that also. Uh, as well as being able to do other, other fields and contracts, I just want to avoid having to do lots of mowing because I am aware that we do lots of it anyway. All right, I've got my steering sensitivity turned up way too much. The other thing is I've fixed the uh, the hitching problem, the lagging problem. Now the problem is, uh, we're just going to dive down here. The problem is um, the shader cache, and that's all that fixed it. I just deleted. I went into the uh, into the files and deleted the shader cache. And uh, Bob's your uncle. The game runs absolutely buttery smooth again. So if anyone's wondering how to do that. Just Google how to uh, how to delete the shader cache. If not, I can make a video on it for you if you do want to know. So let me in the co let me know in the comments below if you want me to do a quick uh, quick video on how to delete the shader cache. But it instantly, you can see, absolutely no dramas, no hitches, no worries. Um, so yeah, and I I haven't done it. I've probably loaded in the game a few times since I've done it. So you don't need to do it every time. But, uh, yeah, not too bad. All right, so we'll go and drop this off. And then I'm going to hold out on buying the bow wrapper until we actually have to do a mowing session. Uh, I'm just potentially going to turn down the sensitivity too, I think. But, uh, yeah, uh, we'll check the price of honey. But I think February next month we're going to sell all off that honey. Then uh, we're going to sleep again because there won't be much else to do till uh, we get into preparation for uh, what? Well, sorghum, like we said last time. So sorghum planting and then it'll be coming up to the mid-year again where we have to start uh, looking at our own, our own fields. Uh, our own wheat field for harvesting. And I'll have to go pick up the harvester from the yard uh, workshop. Just back that. Uh, don't park it in that spot. Yeah, just there. Okay. All right. So that's good. That's all taken care of. Uh, let's check the prices. Ooh. Are we going to switch this as well? Did we say we were going to go to cabbage for the next run? Or lettuce, I mean. Can we just check the price on lettuces? Okay. Lettuce prices. Ooh, crockies. Lettuce prices are really good, aren't they? Maybe we should have a go at lettuces for this next run. Tomatoes have been fantastic. Right. Uh, yeah, okay. Let's have a go at tomato, at uh, lettuce. So, uh, let's deactivate that and let's activate that. Okay, takes two water takes one water so our runny yeah okay all right all right we'll see how it goes there is tomatoes in stock but we'll hold out we'll just do lettuces for a while change it up see how we get on another greenhouse might be actually pretty good you know probably would be um also honey yes where is the honey it should be up here 
Holy moly, buying at 3,000, 3 1 at the restaurant. Price fluctuations. Reckons it can get up to 3 3 in February. So, what we're about here now, January. I reckon probably about here. Okay, let's go check it out. Uh, we may as well go and have a snooze. We've got an extra pallet here that will hopefully uh, load up with a little bit more. Maybe we should buy another set of bees. What do you reckon? Just have a quick look. Uh, okay. Bees, bees, bees. Construction. Yeah. Uh, is it under animals? Bees. What's other? Oh, it's the dog kennel. Maybe we should buy a doggy. Now, we've got uh, that one already, which is 12,000, 12,500. Do you really want to buy another one that price? Uh, like, I do. It could just sit out the back here, couldn't it? All right, you just did that. You know that. Yeah, I did. Now, will that be... Uh, that's uh, that's a greenhouse you're looking at there. I want to look at the beehive range 100 meters get honey at pallet location. Okay, so now we've got two of those Let's see if this starts uh, ramping up. I assume that it will just all spawn at the one pallet location We'll soon see that's a good chunk of money, but we'll make a little bit more map more back tomorrow All right, the weather's clearing up also so We'll get into January 2nd and see what's going on. Let's sleep till 9. Alright, so, whoa, it is a frosty, frosty morning here. Let's check out, let's check the temperature, shall we? We're looking at uh, currently minus 1 outside. Holy dooly, January 2nd. It is uh, definitely a frosty sort of a morning. We've got a bit of snow around too, have we? Oh, very cool. I do like it. Um, now, look at this. The game's running so smooth. Oh, good. I like to see this. A few eggs. Now, I uh, don't know if I mentioned it already. Uh, I could have, but I just I just had to walk away and come back. That's all right. So I apologize for that. I had to put a cut in. But uh, I've set the economic level to be easy. I don't think I have brought this up yet. Now, I've set it easy because we were running on hard originally and they're normal. But for the sake of progress... I feel like all the tomatoes we got last time, we didn't get that much money. I expected probably a little bit more. And I think having the economic uh, set on a little bit more might help. Right. Are these actually producing get honey at pallet location? Range 100 meters. So it's, has it got to be in 100, within 100 meters? Okay. Yeah. All right. We'll see how that goes. Hopefully that... Uh, that's not a lot of honey. All right, we've got uh, we've got one more sort of day. I want to say. No, I don't want that. I want uh, that. We've got one more day. Till we need to worry about honey anyway. But let's just check the prices of honey. So looking at three three show current prices three one still about the same. So we'll wait out another month and we'll see how it goes. Uh, in the meantime, do we get any? Let us check what's going on here. Oh, the lettuces are in. <laughs> Excited for when that pops in. Uh, and the price of eggs. So we might be able to sell the eggs and the uh, honey together just to make a little bit extra coin. Then we'll check the contracts. And otherwise, if nothing's going on, I think we might as well just sleep again. All right, contract-wise, no, nothing. It's frosty, it's January, there's nothing going on. Eggs prices... I know this is a lot of checking prices and stuff lately, but it, it kind of is what it is while I'm learning learning the seasons, learning what uh, what sells best when, uh, show price fluctuations. So it's starting to come down around this time of the year. 4-1 is the best price. Uh, and we're looking at 3-1. Yeah, okay. But they're going up, kind of. Still, you're looking at 3,000. It's still a lot of money. Um... I'd be interested to know if that, uh, if this honey here, if they're too close to each other or if you can have them that close. I assume you can. I don't see why it would matter. Right. Uh, so what are we doing? I think we're sleeping, aren't we? Yeah, there's no contracts. 
There's nothing going on. Field work wise, we can't do anything. We can't plant. Field prep's all done. Yeah, well, you're going to clean a spot for. Um, oh, check the sales. You're going to clean a spot for your shed? We're not doing the shed yet, so I'm going to hold out on a shed. I'm considering. I'm actually considering putting a little shed down near our uh, land down the back there where actually we're going to be mowing. So, actually putting a little uh, covered area down and putting our mowing equipment down in there just to get it sort of out of our hair. Potentially, we could store some other equipment there as well. But, uh, sales, please. Right, that's not helpful. That's still for sale, but not helpful. Okay, let's do another sleep. Ah, sleep the winter away, shall we? Well, lucky we got some money. Well, we've got some uh, money in our back pocket. Show me the money, honey. What do you mean the bank is out of money? <laughs> oh, very, very funny. All right, so this is going to be into February. This is when the world starts to kick off again down here. All right, looking lovely. Fields are growing. Green, greenness is coming back. The lushness of everything. All right, do we get more eggs potentially? More eggs are definitely on the way. In fact, we are getting a good stock up of eggs here, aren't we? Uh, you can just sit there, please. All right, and still no lettuces. Do we get more honey? Oh, we've definitely got honey. All right, we'll check the price of that honey as well. Drag it through here. That's good. That's another pallet. I mean, it's not ter 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 I mean, massive amounts of honey, but you know, it's still honey. Still honey at that, and it is there an yeah, there's a little bit more that spawned as well. Okay, let's check the price today then. Uh, there's eggs. Eggs have come right down actually. Wow. So we may as well just hold on to the eggs, I think, for a while. Uh, honey must be where. Can't wait to get into some products. Three one three three at the restaurant. Is it going to be worth Oh, three, three, that's a really good price. I think we've got to take that. All right, let's load up. Have we got any contracts we can send the gang off on as well? No contracts still, wow. Apologies for that, I just uh, accidentally <laughs> belted the uh, control, I mean the keyboard. All right, get in here. Are we still hitched up? We are now. Uh, I do know that last time I stacked the, uh, you may as well use the, uh, the ute or the pickup. I did stack the, the, um, tomatoes on there really badly and I, I didn't counterbalance it properly. So I do apologize to those people that, uh, might have been a little bit frustrated at that. I was kind of frustrated at it too, but, uh, you're all right and you're all absolutely correct. I should be stacking it over the, over the back and over the rear axle rather than, um, right in here like so in that point in that point that's where it's going to uh it's where it's going to sort of seesaw the uh the actual balance of the of the whole thing so what we'll do is we'll put this um the trouble is that it's just this trailer is absolutely so light and made of nothing that the kind of slightest bump sort of sets it off uh and it's really kind of um counterbalanced really bad all right pick that up at that end please See if we can squeeze these in here. No time lapse needed for this one. I'm a pro. All right, get that down there. Strap that on. All right, and then we don't have a lot, but I'm hoping what we've got will make us net us a little bit of coin and warrant um, warrant the fact that we bought another beehive and the fact that. Um, Okay, strap that in. That's uh, that's the flashlight there, buddy. My bad. Uh, and then this one, we'll do it over the axle itself. Like, uh, like such. Can I get that re-strapped, please? Beautiful. And then we've got a couple of little tiddlers that we can take down as well. Now, if you're um, questioning me loading it like this by hand, in real life, if these were on pallets, I would just 
stack the pine pallet on. Pine pallets are very light. Uh, I'd stack the pine pallets on, and then I'd individually stack the boxes on there. So it's not really that far fetched that you would do this by hand, to be honest. I mean, those crates of honey, you can see those individual crates would not be heavy. Okay, you wouldn't probably pick the pallet up with, you know, a stack of um, stack of eight on there, but uh, you definitely would. Uh, just sort of hand pick them up. All right, I'm just swivel it there like that and drop it. Lovely. Right, let's strap you on. Ah, oh, that's good. Okay, good load of honey. Do we want to just take some eggs anyway? Sure, because it's going to be a while until we sell off anyway. Where was the price for eggs the best? We're just going to do it, I think. Uh, price of eggs is best at the bakery. Or the restaurant. Alright, well we're going to the restaurant anyway, I think, for the honey. Yeah, we're going to the restaurant. Okay, definitely the restaurant. Right, let's bring the pickup around here. It's been a really couple of episodes of sort of... Um, just getting the, getting stuff done a little bit, hasn't it? Alright. Alright, can we... Have we got enough room to swing around here without upsetting the, uh, the field? And crashing. I'd say you've done pretty good there, Ham. Oh, yeah, see, we're a bit light in the back. I might put some eggs in the back of the pickup now, because now it's a little bit... The counterbalance of this is really off, because these, because pickups and utes, they're just, they've got no weight in the back. It's literally just an aluminium or alloy or whatever, light metal sh um, a tray, generally on a, uh, just a very light chassis. There's not much to them, put it that way. So I'll, I'll actually try and counterbalance now by putting some eggs in the back here. Okay, what is this um, stacking simulator? Yep, it definitely is. Alright, let's put that. That seems a bit better. A little bit of weight in the back might just help us out a touch. Okay, majority of the weight's still going to be over the uh, over the axles of this trailer. And I'll put these ones up here. I know that uh, you can get an extra thousand for eggs, but hey, I think while we're going up there, we may as well just sell what we got. I think you'll agree that's not a that's not a bad move by any means. Okay, probably shouldn't stack the eggs like that, but we are. And you can go in the back here, uh, just in there. Try and get it sort of neat. There we go. Strap them. I guess strap them down. We don't want them going anywhere. Uh, this is a good little load, hey? Look at that. Is the screenshot worthy? Sure. All right. The Ute actually, uh, the pickup feels actually quite good to drive now. Well, I think we've got it just nicely balanced. Oops. Sorry there, buddy. Didn't see it coming. That was my bad. Alright, just swing around here gently. We don't want to lose our load, but yeah, definitely much better counterbalanced. I think you'll all agree. We're not so we're not doing wheel stands this time. And you can actually see the pickups looking a lot better balanced. Alright. Okay. So uh yeah, I think we're going to the restaurant. It's handy having the restaurant this close, and the restaurant always paying good price for our product. All right, in we go. Up, oh, and it's starting to go anyway. Making all the money. Look at that. Holy good money! All right, we can sell those off too, please. All right, another five eight there. Wow, that's been some good money. Okay, well, beehive justified. <laughs> 
two beehives justified, I reckon. All right, that's good. Let's head on home now. Well, that's some good money we just made, so happy about that. Okay, uh, just give us a bit of room. Back up a touch. Right, well, I'd call that a successful day's uh, work here in February. Now, I don't know contract-wise if there's much going on in February. There's probably not. I do, however, want to run down and check my field out. Uh, this one, it's here. Oops, we better get out. Is that, that must be ours, is it? All right, put that up in the pile up here. I didn't realize that their field, I'd left one of my branches in it. That's really bad. We'll just chuck this up here as well. Okay, good job. Apologies for that. Right, let's run down. I wonder if I've got left any more in here. Is that one there or is that a shrub? Looks like a shrub. Okay, I have a tendency to sometimes... Yeah, it's, it's hard to see those branches when they fall off. Well, I'd say, all in all, we've had a really su successful winter without produce. Right, and this is still growing. Yeah, it definitely is. Okay, yeah, well, it's not going to grow that well in the colder months, put it that way. I think uh, we've got nothing to do but sleep again. Uh, these sort of... We only own three farms, and I guess we're sort of at the point where it's just that uh, in-between, nothing much to do, kind of just sleep it out. Have we checked the sales today as well? Oh, we, don't, we don't need a silage fork. Look at this thing. We can't afford that either. That's pretty cool. What's that, a slurry tanker? Wow. What a cool bit of kit. All right, sleep till nine again. This is only gonna take us into the next part of February, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Okay. I have a feeling the prices of the honey will either stay about the same where it was or it potentially might've come down. I, I wanna check it anyway, just to see what the prices might've been for today. Uh, we don't want that. Although, are we producing letters? think so um prices for honey i always forget it's this table here about the same okay we're looking at about the same but eggs would have come right down no doubt and eggs have come right down we got them just at the right time i think three thousand getting four thousand for them would have been fantastic all right so it's still only feb second i just want to see with the bolster up of uh the honey thing okay it's really not that great but I, I suppose it's only been half well one day anyway still no lettuces produced so lettuces might take a little bit longer I do I am aware of that and we've got some eggs being spawned here sounds good all right more eggs already that means uh, very soon we are going oh, you guys are already down to four four didn't we put seven in that last time And when's our harvest? Harvest isn't until June. These are hungry, hungry chickens. July, not June. So we've still got uh, one, two, three. Three months to get through. They might just get through, right. And we're about to put sorghum in in after March so check the sales for me as well right what do we got going on here lots of stuff lots of stuff that we don't really need that's a rock the rock king for 24,039% off we don't want that what's this speed max it's a mulcher that can be used to crush the crop now that'll be handy but we're not really at that point yet either so I'm going to hold out again I don't know. I really am kind of stumped here, guys. Still no contracts available. All right, so nothing exciting happened. We're in the 2nd of March, so we've got uh, one more day. I'm sorry I'm driving so far away, and you can see that there's, like, a pallet of uh, fertilizers sitting on top of this cab. I've picked up three fertilizing jobs at the 2nd of March, end of 2nd of March here, um, which is going to net us just a tidy little sum here and there. Actually, field 46 was back that way. Can we get in down here? We can. Okay, we'll do field 46. Uh, but I've basically got the fence sitting over at the farm with the cedar, the planter on board, ready to go as well. Okay, so I'm hoping that 
by lowering this. Actually, we don't need to lower that. We can just keep it up. This should be a fairly quick and easy job. Yeah, so uh, the fence over there ready to start planting our uh, crop, which we'll get into. I've got three of these jobs to take care of. Uh, they shouldn't take too, too long, but they'll net us a good amount of money. They will net us a good little sum of money, I think. Uh, we've got a field that's worth about 5,000. This is worth a couple of thousand. Another one for another couple of thousand, I'm pretty sure. I'm not going to be too... Uh, not going to be too precious with it. I'm just going to get up and down and when the contract says it's done, well then I'm done. Okay, we've got plenty of fert in the back to do these jobs. Well, I hope so anyway. Uh, I know I'm missing a few spots, but uh, hey, near enough. Near enough, hey? Uh, the rain will wash it around when it rains. <laughs> okay. And across and down. Let's give a bit more of a zigzag that way if we can. Alright, man, that should do it down this way. What I might do is actually, I might actually, um, if I just hit lower here, is that gonna... Nope, it's not gonna drop that fertilizer in there. 87% complete. Are we complete yet? Yeah, good job. Okay, so that's one done. That's field 46. Uh, that's worth 1,500. Collect that. Right, next one is field 52. Then we'll go up and do field 28. Field 52 is just this way. Uh, I'll get out and just chuck this on here, by the way. There's not a lot in it. Oh, there's still more in it, though. Still 74 litres. We didn't use that much, did we? Okay, don't let it slide off him. Oh, easy does it, Tiger. All right, field 56, please. Field 52, I apologize. You've got to go down the right here. Right down there, okay. Let's see if we can contain our uh, container. Yeah, keep it under, keep it contained. Do you want to keep saying the word contained? Uh, maybe a couple of more times. All right, I'm going to crack into this. And then we're going to sleep through the next month and I'll bring you back when we're planning. Oh, 
Okay, we're all loaded up. <laughs> I went and bought some more fertilizer. Uh, we've got our leftover seeds as well we're going to take back. We may as well just have it all at the farm. We don't want to leave it at the dealership. As nice as the uh, as the gang are at the dealership to let me leave stuff there, I don't want to wholeheartedly leave too much there. Can we get the vegans on too? We can be a bit of a hazard. Now luckily, the fertilizer on the back is acting as a bit of a counterbalance, which is actually really good. So we've still got the jobs to collect. We're going to sleep through this month and then I'm going to keep cracking on with... Um, with the music and with uh, getting the uh, sorghum in the field because uh, that's what we said sorghum it is oh okay that's all right yeah you just rest in the se in the fertilizer there buddy Alright, so let's just make sure that we're good to go. Ready to go with the uh, sorghum. Right, well here we are, sorghum planting territory. That's fantastic. I just want to do a quick check on the chickens. Food-wise, ooh, they've got 1,700 food. Hiya, 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 right. Okay, 1,700 food. How long have we got left till harvest? Harvest time will be July, so we've still got two months. I don't think we're gonna we're gonna have to buy more food for these for these guys. Um yeah we are. I've got access to this land though, buddy. Yeah, okay. So sorghum's going in the ground. Woohoo. Uh I thought about setting Gary or Rachel off on a job while I did this, but there's too much micromanagement for the moment. I just want to get this job done. We've got 49 in the bank, so we've done a little nice little haul today as well anyway. Um, so I think uh, we'll just keep playing the music, and uh, we'll just keep chilling out. I want to just get a little bit more zoomage. This tractor's going to do this job fine, uh, nice and easy. I'll do a couple of up and backs up the top up here, and then we'll... Um, crack on with the rest of the field I'll just do that I'll make sure I get a few runs on the headlands before I start to progressing further uh, just give me a little bit of that too please yeah with no lime this time uh, but uh, not required now I checked the bone the uh, the uh, bonus yield percentage that we get on the wheat field we're at 95 percent despite not having rolled it uh, i think bees have an effect on fields too don't they um if if i'm remembering that right uh, i want to keep going with that but i want to raise it raise it up okay yeah so anyway i think uh we've seen this uh, field get planted plenty of times and we're about to see it again so sit back relax and enjoy a little bit more as we, as we get on with this.
Well, well, well. In no time at all, it uh, burns through. You can definitely notice the difference in the tractors between when the Zeta used to have to do this and uh, using our sort of not even not even uh, more powerful tractor to do the planning. You know, this thing just breezes through this so easy. But that's it. Sorghum's almost done and uh, sorely needed. Sorghum needed. <laughs> Wheat needed. We definitely are going to have to be buying more food. We're going to wait to the last, uh, last ditch effort to have to buy the food though for the chickens. Uh, we don't want to spend unnecessarily. We don't have to doubling up because as soon as we can harvest that crop it's going to go straight into that uh, straight into that pit and we know from last time that that field's just not even enough to fill up well it was enough to fill up but uh, they're just chewing through so much grain and that's partly in part well that's mostly in part not partly it's mostly in part of the fact that uh, that modded chicken house uh, does take uh, a big size a big amount of chickens that chicken coop so uh, over 100, 120 maybe, I'm thinking. Uh, I'd have to double check, but it definitely takes over 100. And that's a lot of feed for all those chickens each month. Uh, that's why we're producing so much, uh, so many eggs. So with that though, comes the fact that we're just going to have to buy a bigger field uh, and turn it into a actual wheat field. The other option I'm think considering doing is merging that field with this one and making it one big field. And then um, potentially just make it all one crop for the chickens uh, and then we've got our grass field also on top of that so we're just gonna have to buy more and more fields I think to really just get on top of uh, product because I don't want to be stuck just on chickens I want to get sheep I want to get cows I want to get it all I want to own it all no I, I do want to progress smartly though uh, but at the same time I'm well aware we don't want to just be doing the same thing in and out every episode uh, Plus, I want to do different things as well. So, anyway, that's the uh, sorghum planted in the ground. We're going to have to roll that next time out. But, uh, yeah, good job. Well done. I'll just get out and check it here. The tractor's looking nice and dirty. Yep. Sorghum growing. Yield bonus 73%. So, we'll give that a roll. Then it'll get another coat of fertilizer once we've uh, germinated it. Uh, I'm not going to do any sleeping now at all it's 9 52 in the morning so we can definitely save oh look their crops in uh, did they plant potatoes because i'm pretty sure they had uh, potato roast didn't they yeah okay wow if they had have let me uh take care of the rocks they would have had better yield bonus but uh okay some people just uh don't want any help uh, hey we could buy our uh, we could buy a lot of things now my eyes are just lit up with things we could buy but uh, if I'm gonna be smart we don't quite need a stone crusher converter into lime just yet what I actually need is probably more so the um, oh, I can just come off uh, bale bale wrapper and uh, a tether because it is coming into it's coming into harvest season for um, grass. Grass is going to be growing rapid over the next few months. I'll just come in and check this. And speaking of, it's in a growth state. It's growing. That's what we like to see. And yield bonus at 98%. So pretty happy with that. It's not telling us we need to roll it or anything. So I'm not going to bother. We're just going to leave it as is. That's definitely going to be a better... We're going to get a better yield out of that than we did last when we actually bought the field. So... Yeah. Anyway, thanks for joining me today. That's the uh, field planted. Some good contract work done. I even got an achievement today. I think it was for um, doing contract work. Okay, we'll park the fence here. Uh, I'll probably need a wash. I'll park it over here because it probably needs a bit of a wash. Uh, I might get a wash after we roll it. Or if it rains. Thanks for joining me. Like I said, I uh, hope you enjoyed today's episode. We're going to keep cracking on growing our produce. It'll be interesting to see how much we can yield from uh, from lettuces next time out. Uh, um, we can, we'll check uh, when they're available. But holy eggs, Batman. The chickens are going to be able to pay for eggs themselves uh, very soon. Uh, yeah. Okay, we'll just uh, stack these up here, I think. But not in in the wall. Alright. I'll uh, let you guys go now anyway. I can't really, we just sold, 
Well, we just sold about the same amount last time out with our honey. We made an absolute mozza. So next time we sell some eggs, oh we we're gonna have some great coin. Can we get in here? Oh, the chickens are outside. No point. Okay, thanks for joining us. Stay safe, stay glued to your screen, and wow. We've got some honey here as well. Let's take that out. Uh, the honey can just stack here for the moment. And another one popped in. Alright, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye for now.